How's it going everyone? Today on Historic we are playing the Magnus Opus of Red. This is Urabrask Arcane Bombardment. These two cards honestly were pretty much built for one another and we're gonna use that. We're gonna be using Ur Urabrask's ability to deal one damage with Arcane Bombardment in combination with Mechanized Warfare obviously. The build is pretty simple. We kind of play red control-ish with things like end the festivities and burning down the house for big things and small things and a lot of aggro things. And then we just, you know, use things like big score and reckless impulse to draw our arcane bombardments and urabresks. Pretty simple idea, right? But for some reason, no one is doing this. I have never seen anything even like this done, and yet it seems so on point. Especially with things like Voltanic Spite, which literally allows you just to cycle a cart, which is perfect for this situation if we're being completely honest. Oh yes, I don't know. I really like it, I enjoy it. Yeah, it does It does seem a little bit strange to use Lightning Stone and I can play with Fire as spot removal, if we're being real. Again, goes against all my impulses that I know of being a red player, but it is what it is. In any case, 23 lands to be specific, 3.1 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack in and see what happens. It's gonna be pretty fun, it's gonna be pretty decent. Is it the strongest build in the universe? Well, if you get lucky, it can honestly be ridiculously powerful, obviously. If you get the draw from the forecast, travel and riches, and then if you follow it up with the burning down the house into an arcane bombardment, you know, almost this, almost this, you know? You can achieve some great, great stuff. Ooh, 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 well, two arcane bombardments. Two arcane bombardments a little bit overkill, but we do have one cost cards. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Well, in any case, we have Voltanic Spite, so that's gonna be pretty good. Depending on what our opponent does. Wow, he's playing. Dude, no one plays this. Do you think this is some kind of a crazy oil build? Spider-Man. This is probably a Spider-Man build, if I honestly think about it. Cat on purple, and let's just give him the turn. We don't have much to do, we're just playing lands. I have currently had- Oh, no, 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 that's bad. That is, that, that is big bad. That is, that is annoyingly big bad. I wonder what he's gonna do. Do we play the Reckless Impulse already? We're probably gonna get one land, so let's just do it. You know, otherwise, we pro he probably will never need- Ooh, fancy. Okay, okay, Mechanized Warfare could bait this uh, Stylex play, because again, Sacrifice, destroy each non-land equal to the number of oil counters. Eh, it is what it is, you know? So, how do I want to do this? Do I want to play this? Yeah, sure. Why honestly not, right? Why honestly not? It's here for a mission, and it's mission... Well, it's pretty simple if we're being completely honest. There we go. And now he's gonna start pumping the Silax, which is fine, I guess. And might as well use one in the festivities. Again, technically, Arcane Bombardment and Urupresk. But then again, technically, Mechanized Warfare, completely good stuff. In any case, this should be... Whoa, there, Chief. At least you can't use it. Whew! Whew, man. I, you know, don't know about you, but feeling a little bit sp uh, sweaty spaghetti right here. So what do we ditch? End of festivities? Probably. We will have five mana sooner or later. Okay, whew! Man, that, that, that got that all heart pumping right there. You don't want to do, deal with a sulfur on pretty much literally ever. So hopefully he doesn't do anything detrimental again. And 100% expected. But I can actually play around this. If we're super lucky. Okay. So, we do this. Ooh! We can actually do it! We can actually do it. He's gonna bump it up now. He, he's gonna bump that... He's gonna bump it up now. He's gonna bump that truck. And it's gonna be great. Oh! Do, do you know you have, like, that activation thing that, uh... Yeah, you know, s stuff? Yep. 
You know, uh, kinda. Oh, by the way, we can't technically easily switch out two Urobrisks for a Sylphuron, and that's quite fine. Yeah, did not expect this one. I think I'm gonna wait and bait until he just uh, pumps the Silex to destroy the mechanized warfare, because I think that's definitely his kind of. Whoa! Whoa! That changes nothing! Amazing! Well, in any case, this is a bit annoying. He can actually pump one, and he can then put more things on that. And now he's doing, well, da danger zone things. Not gonna lie. Wait, can he even do that? I don't know. Is he gonna do it for three? Maybe. Oh, there's a different, uh, look at that. There's a different token art for the Spyrex. Whoa, that's a good one. Wow. And there we go. Exactly. What just happened? Does that card actually damage the face? How how does how uh, what 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 doesn't that card destroy thingamajigs? How did how did it even do ten damage? I I need to check. Uh, we we need we need to check the Silax. That that's insane. That is absolute pure uh, pure insanity. I think it was two or one caused battles artifacts. Let's go. Uh, where is the Silex? Ah, uh, aren't you? Wait, where are you? Hello, Mr. Silex. Are you Pyrexia? All will be one. Ah, uh, okay. Put an oil counter on the f filigree Silex. Sacrifice the filigree Silex. Destroy each non non land. Permanent with mana value equal to the number of oil count. Okay. Remove 10 oil counters from among. This is insane! I never got to that part! Remove 10 oil counters, deal 10 damage to any time. I didn't even know this is a thing! We can make so many different things with that. This is amazing! I love it! <laughs> I never expected to see something like that. Who? There's, there's probably, that, that guy is probably the only person in this world who has ever read the full description of what the Silax does. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Unexpected. Ten oil counters. Oh, we got the big squad. Nice, nice, nice. That's useful, at least. That's useful. Let's put the cat on purple already. Dude, I had no idea that car does it. I was like, ah, I am in 100% safety. Currently, haha, -ha. what are you gonna do about it on each and and he's like don't call me on each and you, you You dirty animal and then we got absolutely Punished it is what it is. Yeah, I, I would uh, normally I would say oh wow the no one cares card But yeah, that card was big kid. Also this guy probably has some kind of Well, he's not a hundred cards at least I expect to see cards like that from, you know, uh, the, the classic yet fantastic uh, Oh, I'm gonna play 300 cards, players. Cell partition. What a weak sauce card. What is this guy even doing? Well, he, he may do whatever he wants, but here's an end of festivities for three. Yeah, ki kind of danger zone, you know what I'm saying? Also, by the way, if you think that's danger zone... Actually, I can't cast it. Do we risk do it a brisk? Uh, let's risk do it a brisk. Worst case scenario, he just farewells our existence. Which would make me cry in the crying coordinate, because that's why it's called the crying coordinate. It's it's especially designed for bad situations. And this definitely looks like someone who is without question playing in the festivities and being happy about it. Which should be, you know, uh, considered an atrocity to nature. Um, how am I gonna do this? Probably like this. By the way, mechanized warfare is completely insane because it literally makes cards like burning down the house to an unbelievable extent over poverty. Like, this thing makes uh, makes de this devil play not 6 damage, but 12 damage. Imagine that. One one move, and this can deal up to 12 damage easily to your opponent. It's kind of insane. And the removal potential, the every... I don't even know what this does. Deal and move it. Well, I have seen it before, but I don't remember it, so... Wow, we're playing against some stuff here, boys. 
Interesting. Also, very cool swamp art, then I, would, then I like it. This also art is pretty good, but admittedly the uh, the plains plus blue and it's like, you know, tall hills and stuff like this. I think that has been overused in art when it comes to uh, to blue uh, to blue and a white. You know what I want to see uh, land, uh, land art wise? I want to see something like one side is like, for example, white water coming in, the other side is like blue water and they start to mix and make a swirl or something like that. You know, cool stuff like that. I think that would be the absolute peak, peak proficiency. Uh, 5-7, can't actually play this, maybe I just drop a mechanized warfare and call it a day. Maybe I just play this, kinda depends, hmm. If we get a land, I'm there playing, definitely. This and Reckless Impulse, you know. Uh, the, the, these attacks don't matter. The, this, this looks kinda weak currently, not gonna lie. But, you know, he has still a handful of cords. Maybe I just do this, though. Uh, is that a world? Hmm. I need to think about this. Oh, actually, no, we have. Oh, no, that's big squad. I was thinking I'm covering over this. I uh, do you really want... Okay, okay. Let's just risk it. Worst case scenario, he gets, uh, he gets rid of the Arcane Bombardment and we take six damage. Which is not honestly a big deal, you know? We can easily draw an end of festivities, of burning down a house, plus the chance that we actually get Urabrisk and can completely just combo wombo it off. Also pretty good, not gonna lie. And no one cares the card. Could you actually do things to my stuff? Artifact or creature? Well, the only artifact I have is a treasure token and clue. Seems good. Seems good, boys. Seems good. Okay. Do we... I think we just burning down a house and call it the day, no? Like, you know, whatever he does is gonna be annoying, but I don't think... This is just the most unthreatening thing ever. Now, we need to be careful because this guy is definitely 100% playing Akaya. But currently, he's not playing Akaya, so you know, it is what it is. Also, cute with the Overseer bounce. Ooh. Ah, kind of nice. So, yeah, let, let's just burn everything down because that that that's that's what we're here for. Plus, deal some damage. Ha <laughs> ha! Look at it go! Yeah, that's that's good. Okay, we don't have the man for it, but we have another big score. Uh, one in three chance for a big score. I can reckless impulse. Well, I can. I'll probably burning down the houses. No, I want to save this. Again, I'm currently just only, only fearful of uh, farewell. If he farewells. Well, the crying corner looks mighty appetizing currently, you know, it, 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 it's a spot. But, I kind of need to save some uh, some of my fuel for the fire here. And, uh, yeah, there we go, but the, everyone expected the Kai. So, the question is, does he minus, uh, the, what does he do? Exile target creature and enchantment. He's probably targeting the Arcane Bombardment, right? It just makes sense when you think about it. I personally like to not think about it because it's evil, oh, but it's fine. And yep, there we go, there we go, the 100% L expected play. How do we want to do this? I probably just want to create devils and just, uh, you know, cre 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 create saucy opportunities for this guy. Actually, I need, don't need to attack with everything there, I can just do it like this. Okay, not the best case scenario. Not the worst case scenario. Kai is always... Ooh. Boys, do we like this Kaya? It's the hottest Kaya we have gotten since the forgotten ages of the three-cost mommy Kaya. Is this one good? Boys, leave down in the comments. Is this Kaya actually scrumptious or are we living a lie? Hard to tell, hard to tell. In any case, yeah, this is good damage. As long as we can pressure him a little bit, that that's already kind of a win. Five, six. I want to keep this in case we draw lands. Probably next turn is just reckless impulse and call it a day. 
Uh, maybe it is Big Squad, but I kind of want to keep the lightning strike. Maybe it's just mechanized botfare and call today. Again, this guy is definitely rolling with farewell, and that's something I don't want to deal with, okay? That is something that is kind of ve very, very much not allowed. Uh, okay. Th he didn't hit the Nora Brisk. Yep, didn't see one. Oh no, there's an Nora Brisk from the time of old! <sighs> Oof! Dude, do you think he's gonna go for mechanized warfare? Or maybe he hit something else? No, maybe he's going for another another uh, ethereal warden, who knows? Well, it's kind of a waste for him at the moment. He he used up all his mon. If my, uh, if my turn now is big, it's, it's gonna be good. Also, the devils, the devils are problems. If he resurrects Urebrisk plus Kaya? I can just lightning strike deal with it. Yeah, it's the other breast press guy. It's not a big deal. Annoying, but what is he gonna do? His best play is probably honestly plus two and hope for the best at this point. Which is not honestly a good play in my opinion, but you know, it, it is the best out of a bad situation. Because he most likely understands that the Urebrisk is not staying. Yep. Yep. Okay, and now I can do this, plus get rid of the Urebrisk, and leave him on 2 uh, on two HP, which means we should be drawing also an Arcane Bombardment pretty soon, right? Okay, so this is instantaneous. Uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna wait and see what happens. Okay, good. And a land. I think it's the Reckless Impulse no matter what, right? Well, he doesn't have anything else to do. Oh, 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 Okay, now we're talking. So, I do this. The Kaya is useless. It's actually gone, not useless. Okay, so that was more perfect than I thought, because I actually thought it's gonna survive with 2 HP, because Matt is not for the red player, you know what I'm saying, boys? Oh, yeah. Remember. This... You don't win magic by being smart. You win magic by having such giant cojones it cannot be contained by the universe. Honestly, very very simple things. He could be technically playing a second Kai, which would be devastating. Sun's fall? If I get a two cost to cast with the Arcane Bombardment, bo boys, we are so in it. We are so in it. He's also low on cards, which is kind of really good. We still have Field of Ruin, but I can't do anything with it. Eh, not a two-cost card. Do I risk it? I think I risk it. Th this could cost us the game, but I'm risking it no matter what. If he ha if he has a way to deal with Arcane Bombardment... By the way, as always, predicting when we're gonna draw it. You know, good, good enough, but... I still have the draw from the clue, which means he, he's not exactly going to have a super high advantage if he deals with the Arcane Embodiment, but again, if he if the Arcane Embodiment is just let loose even for a moment, it's fine. But the problem is he probably has another Breach, and the problem is he probably most likely has another Kaya. And after that, I'm kind of uh, hung out to dry, honestly. Maybe he doesn't, and that's why he's super mad and roping at the moment. Well, that's what you get for f playing a Frodo Baggins avatar. Ufbrg. You're probably also German. Disgusting. In any case, the Germans love that. If you're German, press the like button. If you're non-German, also press the like button, because you probably also dislike Germans. It's a win-win. <laughs> ah, come on. If he rage quits... Best day, best game ever. If he doesn't rage quit, worst game ever. It's sim, it's simple mathematics, boys. Oh man, we're taking so. Oh, please don't. I'm literally winning next turn if you just don't do anything bad to us. Please, please do, don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please not farewell. Please don't do things that I regret. Do things that you regret. That's like super good. 
Oh no, he covered over this, which we- He doesn't have it! He skipped the first, uh, the, the first standby phase. Now it's the third standby phase, or whatever, I'm making words up as we go. Oh my god. The early bird eats the worm. Watch me exhale in the, in the festivities because of reasons. Well, watch me exhale in the, in the festivities because of reasons. Just, 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 just watch me. W w watch me be a competitive magic player. Maybe he's actually just waiting so he can complete. No, 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 no. This person is le pissed. Yeah. As the Norwegians would say. Good times. Oh, yeah. Well, your cool land arts. What did they accomplish? It? Dude, this guy is actually using all of the cool land arts. Look at this. I never even saw anyone honestly use this. Strange. Ah, shh. Oh, baby. Okay. Devious cover-up was definitely not on my bingo card. But kind of, kind of okay. So let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. End of festivities is the worst one. Reckless impulse is the second worst one. Best one is literally just getting a big score. Is he just slow or is he just being pissed now? What do we get? What do we get? I don't see it. Come on. Press, press the resolve button. Be the man your dad never was. But your ma mom sadly somehow is. Oh yeah. Come on. What was it? Oh, big squad. That's big. That is big. That is big. Okay. Because even now if he deals with our shenanigans, we're still gonna... Well, at least it's a land, I guess. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. This is fine. He did, though... Dude, does this guy only have, like, two copies of... I think this guy is just playing two copies of X, which is kind of kind of sus, but that's fine. Okay, so what do we have here? Reckless lightning strike. More reckless impulses. This thing. Uh, two. Okay, if he plays a planeswalker and we get burning down the house, that's really good for us because most likely he's wasting all of his mana if he has something good here. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, it doesn't lo look like it. Okay, good. Perfect, in fact. Absolutely terrific. Because we are going to be able to big score the mountain away and then call it at a day. This two damage doesn't matter, especially because this uh, art is bad. Okay, now do a real hit. Please, burning down the house. If we can actually get... Eh, reckless impulse. You know what? It's fine. You know, it could be worse. It could be better, but it's fine. At least we're gonna get... Okay. I like that. I like what I see. To do to play with fires? Did we just win? Did we just actually win? I'm not sure. Uh, probably... I think we did. Yeah, it feels like, uh... Yep, definitely did win. Okay, okay. Uh, also, I think we just had one Urebrisk all that time, which is kind of anticlimactic, but you know, it is what it is. Also, I think I want... I think it's time to put Sulfur in, in. you know? One self No, actually, we can put two Sulfur in. We can easily ditch one, uh, one, uh one mechanized warfare and one urabresk and that's two sulfurons especially considering i don't know if i even have four sulfurons so one urabresk minus and one mechanized warfare minus and let's just go for him wherever he is um hello urabresk i already went past him oh we actually have four sulfurons interesting well, whatever. Uh, good enough is what's the average amount of cost? 3.1. That should still be kind of good. Uh, we have enough. Yeah, we have enough early game, so this should be not even a problem. I usually think Sulfron's a little bit overkill. Because he literally is like 9 times out of 10 overkill. 
but you know for the memes i'm gonna add him for the memes because the reality is you get the arcane bombardment out you get the mechanized warfare out like uh Selfron is literally kind of pointless i mean sure he just literally doubles your damage but is it worth it that's kind of up to you if you want you can do it uh dodgy hand to keep don't know how i feel about this a one drop. Don't tell me you're not gonna. Ooh. Oh, look at that. It's the classic. You're playing against aggro. Here, have a two lands in all of your late game and you go second. Yes, wizards. What an indie development company, indeed. The best, in fact. And you're, you know what? Your one removal is not even gonna do anything. 10 out of 10. Okay, is anyone really surprised? So, even if I get two lands now in a row, I still can't win. So, this is just an instantaneous conceit. There's no point even waiting. You know, he had the, he had the, uh, art, not artifact, but, uh, one cost saga. It's OP. A lot of people just concede when they see it instantaneously, because it's just that stupid of a card. So, yeah. Completely legit matchups right here, boys. You know, re remember all that, uh easy spot removal that we had which technically by the way makes us relatively okay against threat uh forget about it did you see it i didn't see it wizard surely wizard shuffler surely didn't see it so it's good okay definitely a keep i see a big score in three lanes no matter what's happening i'm keeping and as long as this is not another orzov off player enjoy it we should be fine Hopefully. He is a bird avatar, so yeah, that's something. TSL. Haven't played against him also. Hmm. Also, you know, I currently can't understand. Is Magic's player base dwindling or increasing? Because I'm not seeing a lot of the same names. No matter is it historic, brawl, or whatever, I'm not seeing a lot of the same names. Uh, since I don't remember them, I, you know, I'm assuming I d I'm, don't, I'm not seeing them uh, all the time. And, well, not and, but I am seeing a lot of 100, per, uh, 100 piles. And that's stupid. <laughs> Again, Wizards put in the development company obviously can't put in the manpower to make, uh, to, you know, under to make some research happening to make uh, to understand it well you know no one really wants to play this game when they're playing an s tier build you know literally like 70 percent s tier and everyone knows about it and you're playing against someone with a hundred cards and they have a this is a troxa this this is a troxa and you're playing against someone who has a hundred cards and they have the perfect curve and the perfect everything. Yeah, that's called having a bad time, you know? Oh yeah, this is for show sure Atraxa. Yup. Yup. Even the herd migration. So, can we actually win against Atraxa? Well, it's gonna hugely depend on do we actually get a land. Because this guy already has the perfect opener, and he's most likely rolling with the uh, with this thing that for one mana will just imprison everything I have, which is not good, not good. Also, I didn't mention this, but there is a chance that Wizards doesn't understand what kind of build am I, and it's just putting me as a red aggro, which would be hilarious because we are uh, as far away as from red aggro as possible. We're not even red said me technically yeah in any case dude it's not a good it's not a hard choice you literally do what the card tells you in fact it uh, kind of doesn't even you don't even have to search because it gives you the best options in front of you bird brain on each one what are you doing hiccups well look at that he actually figured it out he did a thing let me just have a sip Okay, and... Oh, it's actually a land. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if this instantaneously gets... Yep, yeah, nope, nope. No, no cage effect, because D already... Wait, did he have everything for one... Yeah, he did, because this was on already maxed out. You see the color wheel is full. So maybe he doesn't have the stuff that does the things and does the boopy boops and the whoopy whoops. 
Okay. Well, say what you will. We're getting a Troxid. And it seems like we're getting a Troxid uh, in a very, very, very steady but yet a uh, potent way. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is actually good. I like it. Okay, so we can hit it and we can actually uh, do the thing. Okay, we're dealing some damage, which is fine by me. Okay. Uh, and the festivities. No, thank you. We're gonna continue the festivities. Okay, now we're attacking and now I want to do this. Because uh, I think we win. I I'm pretty sure even if he attacks us now, I think we should... No, wait, do we even win? No, if he attacks us, he wins. And this is a Trox, obviously. Nothing else. And you always start with one beautiful, beautiful pelvis destroying hip hip goddess mommy Atrox in your hand. Everyone knows this. Okay. What? On each end? On each end, please. What are you doing on each end? Well, in any case, uh, how about devils? Yeah, sure, sounds nice. So, unless you have another. <laughs> Unless you have another farewell, these devils are gonna end ya. I love Atrox's hips. I love her everything, but... The fuck? Yo, he's gonna die. It doesn't matter, it has lifelink. Okay, that's the stupidest play I have ever seen in my life, but you know what? It's fine. It's it, 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 this this is fine. I can always do it. He just that. Very well, no, well, he. Oh no, no. Okay, well, you didn't even need to attract. So you just art angel of rat like a common pleb. Uh, no respect for this. Honestly, no respect for this. He. Dude, how lucky do you need? Dude, okay, so this is a forced loss, because notice how... Did he get my... No. Well, he got out of breath, but, you know, what? Who, who honestly cares at this point, right? So, th th this is a common loss, because notice, this guy just dropped a land and ramped into everything perfectly. And now that the, and now that he's done ramping into everything perfectly, he's not even dropping lands, really, you know? He, he, he got the resources, he got the everything, and this is stupid. Uh, is there a chance to win? Probably not. The best part is, by the way, we can still win. We can still win so easily. Again, the stupidest part ever, but we can win. We just need a little bit of sauce. Did we just draw three lands in a row? Also, did anyone pay? Uh, did, any, did anyone pay attention? I think we drew three lands in a row. Thank you, wizards. Thank you. Appreciate it. Big fan, in fact. Big fan of uh, you know RNG. Ten out of ten. Oh, well, at least we didn't get a Troxid. Even though that's the way to die. That that is the way to go, boys. A Troxa, snoo snoo. I have, I think I just created a life goal. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever made the Atraxa art perfectly under... Per... How does this work? Wow, this is awkward. Perfectly understood what they are doing. In any case, well, this looks not that bad. We got the Reckless Impulse and even a Sulfram. Nice. Put the cat on purple and see what happens. Currently, less than a 50% win rate? That can't be, right? Well, it technically can be. He mulliganed down to five. Bruh! Oh no, this is... J okay, okay, okay. This is not that bad. Unless he... Do, do you think we're just getting a Trox at uh, number uno? Okay, two lands. Two lands aren't also that bad. I'm just gonna drop Mechanized Warfare. Yo, come on. You can't let these people go first and then just allow them to ramp wizards. I, I don't understand. What are you even doing with your life? 
well, nothing with your life, but you know, that's 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 kind of whatever. Okay, so we got Sulfram. I don't know if he has a way to remove it. Obviously, they're playing a lot of removal, but the idea is simple. Sulfram stays and we win the game. Yeah, sounds simple enough, right? 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 Oh boy. Dude, is this this? No, no, this is not the same guy. This is literally just the same shit. Okay, so go first. Perfect triumph. Go first. Yeah, go first. Perfect triumph. Uh, feel, dude, this guy's just gonna farewell me next turn if I uh, if I drop Sulfram. Wow, Terra Sunder. Okay, that's actually a bad card for uh for this situation. So maybe not all is lost just yet. If Sulfram survives, I can I can do some wild stuff. But he's clearly not surviving because he already targeted him with something. Oh boy. Terra Sunder, what a time to be alive. Exile target artifact or enchantment. For four mana, you can target the creature. And, of course, ossification. I mean, not even too surprising, but actually... Actually... We're slowly but certainly achieving something here. Next turn is Arcane Embodiment. Bruh, can you... Can, can, we, can, we, can we please relax? Can, can we please just relax a little bit? Decline. This hand is perfect. Okay, he's only with two uh, two lands. The chances that he just arcane, uh, not arcane bombardment, uh, but you know, uh, the, just 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 don't farewell me. I hate it when I, uh, you know, this is my biggest currently fear in arena. It's playing standard and making something when wizards just literally decides, hey, look at this. How about we just constantly make it, him play against farewell? And this is literally the same dumpster fire that we played last game. But this is a different player. Oh, sh and ley lines. There we go. There we go. Okay, so what? Well, it's a burning down the house, though. Oh, uh, sh... Can I actually red devil him? Yeah, sure, I can actually red devil him. Okay, uh, good enough. It's gonna be a little... He, he's probably blocking. At least he's blocking something, most likely, right? If he... He doesn't. Okay. Well, take that damage then, boy. What can I say? But yeah, the ley line... And there we go! Bruh! What's with these perfect ramps? It's just... No, I did not enjoy this, Wizards. I did not enjoy, enjoy this al at all. Two times in a row, go first, perfect ramp, and a lot of life gain because, you know, reason. Well, the life gain part doesn't actually concern me too much. It's just the fact that these builds are running with literally 50 trillion ways to deal with Arcane Bodmen. Enchantments currently are not exactly super safe because there's a the hell is that? Oh boy, did someone put a gun to your head and force you to buy this? Wow. Wow. Oh, you you poor kid. Someone is bullying the living shit out of you, eh? Oh, wow. Also, again, can we please go first like just 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 one time? You know, just 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 one time. It, it, it would be pretty cool, not gonna lie. Because, well... Do you think this guy is just gonna drop a gin and protect it? I think he's... I think he's not dropping the gin. I, I think he's gonna... I think he's gonna counterspell my mechanized warfare. And then he's gonna drop the fourth lane and then he's gonna do the gin. Again, anyone who drops gin in turn 3 is an idiot. Because that's not how you play it. But I have no choice, and this is gonna get counterspelled now, isn't it? Let's see it. Put the cat on purple, and there we go. Also, I knew that it's gonna be spell pierce. And so now he's gonna drop a lane, and now he's gonna not play a djinn. What's wrong with you? 
Well, it doesn't really matter even if he doesn't play a Jin. Even though why, I think he probably had it. Oh, now he's gonna get the Jin. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so. Dodgy. Definitely, definitely pretty dodgy. So, we... It, w Wizards, what I have made here is not the strongest thing in the universe. So there's no point in just making me play against direct counters and perfect hands. Well, okay, he didn't get the gin instantaneously. And he's taking 15 years to figure out the discards. And he's actually playing the Rule of Blue Sun's Twilight Gin. Which is wow, because that is unefficiency at its finest. He still hasn't... He does... Nope! Oh, a Talarian Tether. Okay, sure, why not, honestly. Don't care about it. If you want to counterspell this, it's fine. I can deal with the Tether. And there we go, a counterspell, yep. Okay, as long as we deal with it. I don't know if we're gonna deal with it. Sulfron, show. For show, boy. Can't counterspell this now, can you? Okay, now we're actually gonna win. Ah, uh, do I actually do it? Do it? There's always a pushback. There's always fading hope. It it's a card, not my mental state. <laughs> Even though the mental state's pretty accurate too. <laughs> Nervous laughter. In any case, yep, there's the fading hope. Okay, so do you think he's gonna draw the card that allows him to just gain all the mana for free because of reasons? I think that's happening. Okay. He's attacking with a Talarian Terror, that's fine. Well, that's not actually fine, that's gonna completely own me pretty soon. Uh, but it's as fine as it can be. So, Counterspell? No, no counterspell. Okay. What a time to be alive. Do you think he has another Fading Hope? Dude, I hate these players that actually play Fading Hope and Blue Sun's Twilight. Because it is a complete, uh, it, it is a complete diametric opposite to how it should be done. Uh, that, that's the stupid reality. Actually, how do I want to play this? Probably like this. Because that is the the exact diametric opposite of how you want to actually play these things. You know? that That's the irony of all of this is... Because if Blue Sun's Twilight is... Ninjutsu? What? Uh, what just happened? Uh, Viscuzi? Am I gonna... Oh, 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 we actually got it. Okay. Uh, so, Forced Win Ahoy. Yay! Right, this is the stupidest game I have ever played in my life. So, we, we as a red player dealt with three of those things. YOLO. YOLO! Yeah, we, we've been so hot it's not even funny. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. No way. Bruh. I'm probably gonna exile burning down the house. That's most likely what's happening here. Unbelievable. Well, after the, uh, after something like this, I guess I kind of deserve this. Oh no, just just wait. That's still not technically exactly lethal. Well, ain't that just swell? Ain't that just swell? What a stupid win! What a what a win! What an absolute dude! We literally... Okay, so this was probably, by the way, uh, without any jokes, the poorest mono blue build I have seen in quite some time. It's using white's... Uh, it's using blue sun's twilight, right? Uh, a card that is actually, like, le legitimately a meme if you're playing it in blue, uh, in blue tempo, in my honest opinion. Like, sure, it can sometimes steal something useful, but most of the time it's like... Okay, this is a dead draw. It does nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Why did I even put it inside? You know, it's usually that kind of a card and he has uh, farewell which are kind of counter Cards that are kind of counter each other Whoa, what is this? What is this field yo also again going second 
And all Poker God and expensive cards galore again. Wizards, you understand I have currently well on camera I have lost lost more than I have won. But in reality we still have won more than we have lost, so I guess we're technically kinda on point, but well that doesn't make me feel good about my life, you know? Okay, at least we have this, which means we can ditch one sulfur rod. And, you know, hopefully it kind of works out. Oof. Man, also, this is, by the way, the si Go first again with this, uh... Does that actually... No, I need to do it like it. Okay, I, I will be able to mechanize the warfare plus, uh... End of festivities, technically, which is kind of big. If we obviously get get the uh, get the Zaza for it, but man, that, that looks kind of dodgy at the moment. We have enough HP to work with, but then again, we're up against Mono Red, and chances are there's there's probably nothing we can do to save our HP next turn, right? Yeah, this is like our best play by a long. Well, actually, our best play is maybe Reckless Impulse now. No, 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 no. Let's do it like this. We can still Reckless Impulse plus in the festivities next turn. The only problem is, why do I have a feeling we're gonna be, uh... We're gonna have a great experience with, uh... Not a Kami, but what's it called? The forecast thing with haste that buffs creatures. I have... Oh, no? No experience with that? Well, ain't that sad. Ain't that just sad. Okay. This should get us a land. Good. Actually got a Selene, and now end the festivity. We don't have anything yet, and 7 HP is honestly lose a clog, but... Hey, at least we're kind of surviving currently. Again. Dude! Ah, oh, Lord Squiggums into a lightning strike. Literally nothing I can do about this. Okay, so, what's my play here? Is it actually gonna be this and hope for the best? Probably. At least he can't deal with Urabresk. But I'm probably dead. I'm probably absolutely 100% dead. It is what it is. In any case... Oh, six lands. Yeah, he's gonna just lightning strike me in the face. Yeah. Wizards, wh why am I playing against mono red aggro? Go first, dub uh, this into a turn two play. You understand it literally can never get better for an aggro player than that, right? You you you, you kind of see told you. I should have just conceded the moment I saw it. But but by the way, yeah, we have currently two games in like the span of the last three games that are currently the exact same thing. Opponent goes first. Red aggro has a land on each drop. First uh, first drop the overpowered saga. Has a turn 2 drop that actually is per perfect ma mana efficiency. And I have nothing. Man, that, that that's a dog barking really, really dog dog style. Um, And I, in the meantime, have a poker god hand, a 2 plus 2. And it's the expensive part, not, not, the, not, not the cheap one. Yeah, wizards, I, I, think, I think it's bugged. Also... How often do we go second or first? Well, this is a good hand. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Um. Sh if this is another Atraxa. No way. There's no way that this is Atraxa with that type of stuff. Okay. May maybe we're good. May maybe we're good. You know, something. Uh, a, a survivor eye of the tiger. And this is just another Kaya. Boys, we are playing against so much stuff that actually has an inherently good chance. Misclick. Uh, we're playing against so much stuff currently here that has a, such an unbelievably inherently good chance to win against us. It's kind of insane, honestly. Yeah, this is just another Kaya ramp that's using Spirit Companion and Restorations with, with, uh, with the farm hands. Simple. Okay, so how do I win against this? Mm, we needed... Uh, we we kind of needed a big three. 
We have burning down the house, which is gonna be forcefully uh, used to deal with... I don't even want to do this. I'm just gonna wait. These one drops don't matter to us. I probably can even stay on like, I don't know, like 6 HP if I, if I really need to and we should be fine. I think. Also, there's a good chance that he drops wedding announcement. Well, he's not currently dropping it. Oof. Okay, okay. Definitely time for a, bi a big a big macaroni. Hmm. Well, we have the land, though. M maybe, we to uh, maybe we top an arcane embodiment. Did not top an arcane embodiment, eh? Uh... Nope. Okay, I guess we just wait and do another big score after this. Probably don't need the Field of Ruin, at least. And there's a car. Okay, so yeah, you see Wedding Announcement. So, Wedding Announcement... Dude, we're playing constantly against things that have a mathematically good shot against us. Th th this is a bit insane. Yeah, this is just a bit insane, Wizards. Kind of, you know, kind of questioning. Kind of questioning stuff here, currently. Okay, do we drop the Sulfurum and then try to go for an Urabresk? I'm not even sure. Let, let's go for the Sulfurum and let's see what happens. He's probably not gonna enjoy that one. Because then we can Urabresk and actually pump pretty hard. And he's actually so far from a farewell it's not even funny. Do I pay the life? Yeah, I pay the life cost two times if even necessary. 8, 8 minus 13. I don't know, like 69 or something. Close enough. He has a Kai in the graveyard, which means he could... Dude! Okay, so he has a reanimation for the Kai. Great stuff. Great stuff, everyone. Pat yourselves on the back because reasons. Okay, how do I do this? He's not gonna do anything, right? Okay, is that it? Okay. Well, in that case, uh, sh this could win the game. It's not the highest probability, I mean, but, you know, it's definitely there. Okay, he didn't even have an interaction. That's so insane. That's, that's wiki woo right there. Okay, do it like this. Okay, so now his Kaya is just terrible. If he reanimates Kaya, it's literally the most terrible thing in the multiverse. But if we don't get anything to cast, it's also super terrible for us. <laughs> and Sunspot. We're playing against the same thing we played previously, yet again. Yeah, sure, Odebrecht, why not? Dude, we're playing up against the same exact thing. I, now, now he's gonna reanimate the Kai. Now he's gonna reanimate the Kai. Don't tell me you have nothing. Oh, ossification. I guess that's a play. This is so messed up. We're playing... By the way, uh, how many different things have we played currently up against? Like, four? Four and almost one over. That's... What the fuck is that? How are you a 6'6"? Six, six? Oh, are you? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, the draws are just... The, 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 the draws are... This is just not it, Chief. This is just not it, Chief. He he just had everything. He just had the counters. He, he had the... Sun, he had the... We're playing against such unbelievably unfavorable matchups, though. Kind of insane. Playing up against the most unfavorable matchups, like, that Orzhov build is literally just made to survive against this, and it's made to deal with enchantments on a pretty large basis because it just plays all of those goofy things that actually deal with everything. Man, not good. 
Also, I'm gonna finish this video, then I'm gonna go out. Well, not out, out, but I'm gonna go outside of the house. Spend like 40 minutes lying down. Good stuff. Oh, I also need to text, obviously. I completely forgot. Not even dead. There we go. Okay, how is it taking one minute? Thank you, wizards. Wait, the fact that it's taking one minute means that either they have run out of favorable opponents, aka me to, to someone else, or it's some... Dude, this is... Nah, we're playing so much against unfavorable matchups. It's insane. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Any case... Oh, we found a match. Look at that. The indie development company did stuff. I like it. I like it. Funderal Thirst. Funderal Thirst. Yeah, it's actually Funderal Thirst. What do you mean? Uh, mechanized warfare stuff and MacGuffins. I'll take it. No, no, no. It doesn't seem that bad. Also, we finally get to go first. Can you imagine? If you are an Orzov. Okay, well. Uh, good hand at least. Hmm, I wonder what they're playing up against. It's too early to tell. Uh, no counterspell, which is fine. I'm okay with losing mechanized warfare for arcane bombardment. Okay, uh, th does this look like someone who most like... Dude, this could be the legendary build. Union of the Third Pact. Man, I should have never popularized this card. <laughs> Because it's so busted against aggro. It's literally what makes aggro just, you know, screech and terror. It's fantastic. Anyway. Do I play with fire? I think he's gonna re just remove the arcane bombardment the moment I cast it. But we need to uh, we need to hit a land. Well, we got a land. Do you think he's counterspelling? Again, it's like we're playing up against people who have a lot of life gain and a lot of enchantment removal. And our enchantments are kind of the bread and butter here, and uh, yeah. On point. On point, what can I say? Uh, Urabresk, yeah, sure, honestly, why not? Not a big deal. Maybe he's gonna get counterspelled. Uh, we're playing up against actual counterspells now. What the hell is this? I think the game is just confused what kind of red we are. Maybe it actually does think that we are aggro red. And now it's throwing a bone to us, but we can't pick this bone up. We're too stupid. I mean, sure. <laughs> oh, sure. If you want to do it like that, use at least two cards. He probably has the removal. Union of the Third Pact, okay. And another one, yeah. So, currently this guy has dealt with everything important that I have had while drawing a... Okay, so this guy just has a really, really good hand. Arcane Bombardment, no. Okay, so we lose. And another Union of the Third Pact just to seal the deal a little bit, okay. So, we're playing against counter spells, a life gain, and a bunch of removal with draw, and our opponent has a very, 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 very on point combo of all of these things. I wouldn't be surprised if. No, he can't counter spell this, there's no shot. Well, but we literally just got nothing. Okay. Man! Another one, sure, why not at this point? I mean, knock yourself out, buddy. Another land, is anyone surprised? I am not, that's a 50% land, uh, land draw ratio that I did. This guy probably also has farewell, though. We have, l okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Cool. So, is there even the, sl yep, and it's a Kaya. We have pl 
We have played more than 50% against builds that are literally our, uh, our, you know, natural enemies. This is insane. Maybe I draw the Arcane Bombardment and it's fine, even though kind of, kind of long shot. He probably has ways to deal with it. Okay, 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 relax. Uh, I'm conceding. Okay, so we built something that is play... All the games that we played were up against literally perfect hand ramps, Atraxas with very uh, with very good draws, and Atraxas who never actually encountered any even a semblance of being land starred, ramp that also perfectly ramped constantly. And a bunch of ores of life gain control that is literally a hard counter to us. Yeah, I have a hard time believing this is legit. We're literally playing against things that we should lose 9 out of 10 times to because we have no shot. So are you telling me, uh, in the meta, where we... Do I have the site here? I had some kind of site. Let me check my thingamajiggies here. Uh, no, no. Uh, okay, standard MTG meta. There we go. There we go. I had the, 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 this uh, this thing. Okay, so uh, popular today. Mono red aggro, 13% played. Mono red burn, 12% played. Selesny enchantments, 12% played. Mono white humans, 11%. Mono blue temp. Well, we encountered one mono blue uh, blue tempo player. Uh, mono black mid range five percent. Azorius control. Oh wait, is this for standard even? Uh, not sure. Actually, can I? Can, oh, I can't show you. Uh, can't show you my screen. But you. Can, it's fine. It's fine. So yeah. Uh yeah. It, oh, it's actually picked standard. Yeah, it's picked standard. It's correct. This is not. Uh, this is not whatever. So yeah, we did not play against a single one of the most played builds today. We literally only encountered direct counters. Uh way to go, wizards! Way to go! I feel. I feel loved and whatnot. <laughs> well, I guess it is what it is. Anyway. This was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. And have a nice day. Bye bye.